Hi, welcome to Okra Hamster. Today I'll be viewing this 4K action camera by Geek Pro. The model is E0V1. Now this camera has a 12 megapixel sensor, 170 degree field of view, and it comes with a waterproof case and a plethora of accessories. Just about all the accessories I could possibly think about. We got bicycle mounts, helmets, we even got a remote control. So if you already have GoPro accessories out there, it will also work with this unit as well. This action camera has been on Wi-Fi and is able to connect with my smartphone app. I just want to point out that even in their manual, it says that for their app, the Easy iCam app, it does not work with the 4K or 2K footage. And here's the QR code if, I want, if you want to take a look at the Android app ahead of time. So looking at the camera from the front, we have an image sensor, power button, I can also cycle through the modes, and here's the LCD to display. Now currently set to 4K at 30 frames. Over here is the Wi-Fi button. If I press this Wi-Fi button and enable it, the video resolution lowers to full HD, which is 1080p. This one's at 1080p, 60 frames. It does that automatically because, like I mentioned earlier, the smartphone app does not support 4K. But if I were to turn off Wi-Fi, it does not jump back to 4K resolution. So just something that if you use this out in the field, be mindful that you gotta switch it back to 4K. On the top, we have the microphone as well as a shutter button. Over here, we have the micro SD card slot, a speaker, HDMI, and also the micro USB port for charging. The battery compartments on the bottom over here, and the LCD display. So let me just cycle through the menu system. Picture, burst, timer. Here's a fisheye look. And let me just cycle through the into the settings page. I'm gonna go into video resolution. So there's 1080p 60 frames, 30 frames, 4K 30 frames, or 2.7K. So let me leave you that 4K. I'm gonna so quickly browse through others. It's metering, timestamp. Here I can adjust time lapse if I want to. And here are some of the, set, the options for a time lapse up to one minute then continuous language date timestamp sound indicator and I'm show the version I only test the 4k functionality because that's the highlight of this camera if I want to record in 1080p well I can always purchase one of the geek pro 4.0 3.0 or, or 2.0 and as for the 4k video quality I found that image to be choppy with this one and low light performance was not that good either. My 64 gigabyte micro SD card, class 10 works with this, but I was not able to record 4K footage onto it. I can record 2.7K or lower, but not 4K at 30 frames. Every time I try, it would just freeze. I need to take the battery out of the unit to reset it. The battery life for recording at 4K at 30 frames is about 50 minutes or so. A 32 gigabyte micro SD card, class 10, can hold about an hour and 10 minutes of 4K or two hours of on a 64 gigabyte micro SD card if you got it to work. For me, I used the Kingston Class 10 micro SD card. So it should have worked, but did not work. Even though it came with a hard shell carrying case with plain accessories, a smartphone app, the main feature is the 4K for this camera and it underperformed poor low light performance and choppy video. So because of that, I would not recommend this unit. If you need something to record at 1080p, you can just, just go get a Geek Pro 2.0 or a 3.0 or 4.0. Those perform better and they also cost less. Thanks for watching this review of the Geek Pro 4K action camera. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Hamster. Bye.